Hey guys, got another video for you. This time I'm going to upgrade the ignition system on the generator that I have. Uh, the point is, is, is to get rid of the points, basically. Um, be a much more reliable setup than, uh, than what's on it now. More efficient too, I do believe. Might have a little hotter spark. But this is the system. It's really not, not a whole lot to it. It's just an upgraded or updated Magneto uh, electronic. Um, all right, sitting right over here. So I got it set up where I can work on it relatively easily. I'll get around to pulling the cover off. I'll show you where the points are at on this thing, and uh, we'll get to doing the work. Alright guys, this is your, uh, your breaker point ignition and the instructions I have on this little upgrade kit tell you that you, if you have breaker point ignition you don't have to install the plunger plug that comes with the kit, only if you have a Magna, MagnaVac or Magnatron ignition system. So in this case, even though I pulled the cover off to show you this, you really don't have to do anything behind this cover. My, my plan is, is to go ahead and pull the condenser out, get the wire out, just so I don't have it hanging around in the, in the, on the engine. I am going to leave the plunger with the spring in place so that in the event that the coil I got doesn't work or I have problems with it or whatever, I still can reinstall the, the original breaker point ignition. It um, won't hurt anything to stay there. It's just going to be what it is. And uh, so that, that's my plan anyway. Okay, I am going to put some RTV sealant back here where the uh, cable comes through because it does create a seal right here that I've kind of pulled some of that sealant out. That way I seal this area back up, keep it all dry um, and away from and moist, you know, the environment so to speak. Okay, now this, uh, the new ignition coil has a stop switch connection on it with two leads off of it. 
Now I'm planning on using the old, old traditional or old school way of stopping it and that's using the uh, tab up here. Just basically grounds out the spark plug which will stop the engine. So that's how I'm planning on stopping mine. So what I'm going to do is just take this guy off. I'll hang on to it in case I need it. But I'm not going to use this at all. So basically I'll have the coil, the wire. That's pretty much it. One thing I have noticed is there is no uh, second pin to keep this shield anchored, which I'm hoping if I just tighten the screw up good, it won't move. Um, can't go so far up, and hopefully it won't go down. So I'm just going to kind of go. Hopefully that works out good. Um, I am going to make sure the coil is completely as far up as it'll go right now until I get the uh, the flywheel on. And then I'll adjust the uh, tolerance for the flywheel and the coil. Okay, you want to turn your crankshaft so that it's facing upwards so that it'll be a little easier to install the Woodruff key, which is this little guy right here. Um, it actually goes in this slot on the crank, on the uh, flywheel. <coughs> and the way you want to do this. Daddy, I need a chair. Okay, we'll, we'll grab your chair. Okay, the way you want to do this is you take your little key and you'll get the little slot that it fits in right there. Just work your flywheel up a little bit and there you go, now it's on. And then you want to put your washer on and tighten everything up. Okay, now to set the tolerance on the flywheel for the uh, magnet, you want to set the uh, magnet 180 degrees away from the fly from the uh, from your coil. And this little piece of paper that came with the coil will tell you to use this as your tolerance. It's like 25 thousandths thickness. So you set that piece of paper in there, like so. Let's snap your bolt. Slide your coil down. Let it butt up against the paper. Slide your paper out, and you should be good to go.
Yep. And that, my friends, is an upgrade on a Briggs and Stratton 8 horsepower engine from uh, breaker point ignition to electronic ignition. Hope you learned a little something. Appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, until the next time, you guys have a good day.